The risk of trading futures and options can be substantial and may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. In this video, we'll be going through placing your first order in Rhythmic Trader Pro using the order book. With Rhythmic Trader Pro open, on the left side, you'll find some options to open the various windows that you have access to in Rhythmic Trader Pro. We can open the order book from here, or you can simply go to File, Order Book, and open it here as well. Once you left click, you'll see this window pop up. You'll be prompted to enter the symbol you want to trade, as well as the exchange, and select your account. If you have multiple accounts, you should see them all in the drop down on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and type in the ESZ9 contract dot CME. And then I'll select my account. And we can see that we have real time data. If the window ever looks like this and you're not able to see the full order book window, you can simply come up to the top and shrink it down a bit and then move it back up. This is how the Rhythmic Trader Pro order book opens at the start. You can see you have several columns. And a lot of them you may want to get rid of, such as trade volume or this ticket column. The ticket column allows you to simply go to a price, left click, and you'll be prompted to enter into a ticket. By default, Rhythmic sets the order quantity to zero. If you want to change this, you can either type in your own number, or you can do what I like to do and select one and make it your default order size. If I go back to the ticket window and left click on the sell side, I'll get prompted to place an order via an order ticket. I personally don't like to use order tickets, so what I like to do is go up and right click this column, add or remove columns, and uncheck the ticket window. If we click OK, you can see that that column is now removed. You have your bid, ask, and your stop column. Placing trades on Rhythmic Trader Pro is fairly simple. In order to place a buy limit order, you can simply come down to the price you wish to place the order, hover your mouse, and left click in the bid column. Once you left click, you can see that I have a working buy one order here. If I want to cancel this, I can come over to the actual order on the open orders column, right click, and click the X. If I want to place a sell limit order, I can go up to a price of 3042 spot zero, left click, and you'll see that I have a working sell one limit order here. If I want to cancel it, I can right click, and hit the X to cancel it. If you ever have multiple orders in the order book and you need to cancel all of them, and you don't want to come over and right click each order, you can simply hit cancel all. And you can see that that removes all of your working orders.